Okay, um, what we're seeing here is this is a piece of manila paper and there is a hole that's been cut in it and there's a piece of aluminum foil and I took a stick pin and stuck a tiny little hole in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shine the flashlight through that tiny little hole and we're going to see a classic um, diffraction interference pattern and if I haven't explained this to you already, I will. But what we're looking at is the concentric rings that alternate with darkness and brightness. And light has a property called diffraction where it uh, bends around corners. So um, with that tiny little hole being poked there, the light's uh, going through that tiny little hole and evidence that it's bending around corners is that that light gets really, really spread out over a much larger area. Um, as I'm looking at this here, I would say that that circle concentric region that you're looking at is about eight inches in complete diameter. And again, what I want you to see are the, it's hard to stay still. What I want you to see are the concentric alternating bright and dark areas. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, poke a hole in, I'm gonna poke a second hole in this. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm gonna poke a second hole in it. And we'll have the light go through two holes. So when the light diffracts through two holes, you can see, hopefully I can get it. Um, you can see the point where the two, you see two concentric circles and the point, I'm trying to get it still here, the point where two bright spots intersect will be a dark spot. So that is an interference pattern that we're going to talk about now again. Um, if you have, if I haven't taught you about interference at this point, I will be teaching you. If I have taught you about interference at this point, um, we will learn that where two uh, bright light regions overlap one another, they there exists something called destructive interference. And right there, you can see them overlapping and that that spot where they overlap is a little bit darker. So we'll talk more about this in class. If you're viewing this from home, it's because you weren't able to do this in class. Uh, it is really fun to poke lots of holes in. So I'm po poking lots of, lots of holes in and we see lots of interfering uh, white or bright bands uh, overlapping each other. And again, where we see that overlap, there's a dark area and that is called constructive interference. So yeah, thanks for watching.